Good morning. This is Bob speaking to you from my farm at Indianapolis Valley in Nova Scotia. This is part two of my blue nose build. And if you watched part one, uh, you'll remember that I said that I was going to come back with part two and uh, work on the, uh, the sanding of the bulkheads and the spline and also to put the filler blocks in. Now the filler blocks are for the stern here and the bow up here. Uh, one thing you have to remember about this, and I really got caught with it, there's a left and a right to these uh, filler blocks. Uh, if you're not careful when you put your patterns on, you'll make two, two lefts or two rights. And, and, and you have to do one over again so you end up making three for each one. Uh, just just keep that in mind. They are the same on each side but they're like, like mirror images of each other. So I just want to show you uh, what it's going to look like right now. This is the first step in, uh, in what, what the way I think a pillar block should be made. Uh, I, had, I had some white spruce that uh, was pretty clear so I decided that I would use it this morning and, and cut my blocks my filler blocks of a, a piece of square wood so I'm going to try to put this back together again for you yeah there's my piece of square wood there and I drew the uh, top profile here uh, that line right there and I put the side profile on there I cut out the uh, the top profile. Sorry, yes, the top profile here first. So it of course came off, and that meant that I didn't have uh, a flat surface to do the other one. So I had to glue it on back on again with uh, the hot glue. It worked very well. You see, you can put it all back together again, and oh, I think I can. Uh, I probably can't now, but anyway, you see what what I mean there by uh, having to cut out both profiles at the same time. Oh, that one's not going to go together at all. But this is what you end up with after you take your little bits and pieces off. Now it's square, and of course the blue nose isn't square in the back. So this is by no means done, but this is a, a good start uh, to getting the, the proper shape. I was a little worried about that slant there. You know, I thought, holy cow, is the transom on the blue nose that slanted? And uh, I looked at a whole lot of pictures, and by gosh, it is. So here's what I'm going to do right now. i got my hot glue gun there heating up, and as you know, I've always said hot glue really doesn't work all that well. But it will work well enough that I can put that filler block right in there, push it quite hard against this first this first bulkhead, and it will act as a stiffener as well for that bulkhead once I get it all nice and nicely carved out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put that in there for you, and you just use just use two dabs. You gotta make sure you put those dabs in the right place. There we go, right there and there. Boy, once you put those in, you better make doggone sure that you've got it where you want it. Because, you know, for a little while, I've got the hair there from the hot glue, but uh, you can see that uh, uh, it's gonna stay there. So now all I have to do is take up my carving gear. I've got quite a bit of of carving equipment and uh, round that all off nicely so that you get a nice flow this way you get a nice flow coming down this way then I put the other one on this side after I cut it out again because I've got two uh, left hand pieces there I'm going to glue it on round the whole thing off so that the flow is nice and I'll have to put a batten on there to make sure I've got it, but just putting my eyeball down there, 
that looks pretty good right now so I'm going to have to go to my shop and recut that that uh, that stern filler block so it fits to the right hand side of the boat and, and I'll come back okay I'm back here this will be the last bit for today I think I I did what I said I was going to do unfortunately through most of the the first little bit the boat wasn't even in the shot for goodness sake I didn't really check it very carefully but I got the uh, the blocks in the uh, you notice that they're square and they're not supposed to be I haven't carved them yet um, I, I will do that before I come back again so that you can see the you know the I don't know kind of the roundness I think I'll leave it round on the bottom they left it to my discretion according to the directions so you know that's that's what I'll do I'll round it off uh, I also had my little Fordham tool a little, like a little Dremel and I put a, a bevel on these uh, bulkheads so that when I lay the planks on there'll, there'll be more glue space uh, I guess I didn't in the middle this one is sloped down this way very easy to do with the Fordham just zap zap and it's all done so uh, still a little bit of sanding to do here and I'm going to use a batten to try to make sure that everything is copacetic uh, before I come back again so thanks for watching we'll see you next time